Forgiving yourself for the wounds you didn't create is perhaps one of the most challenging acts of self-compassion you can undertake. The weight of those wounds, the ones inflicted upon you by others, by circumstances, or by life itself, often feels unbearable. You may carry them deep within, like invisible scars etched onto your soul. And yet, you did not ask for them, you did not create them, but they are yours to bear. It is in this realization that the process of self-forgiveness begins, acknowledging that the hurt you carry is not a reflection of your worth, but rather a testament to your resilience. You see, life has a way of placing us in situations that we did not choose, situations that are beyond our control. The actions of others, the unpredictable turns of fate, the harshness of the world, all of these can leave wounds that feel insurmountable. You might find yourself questioning why these things happened to you, what you did to deserve such pain. But the truth is, no one deserves to be hurt, to be burdened with the wounds that others inflict. The responsibility for those actions lies not with you, but with those who caused them. And yet, as unfair as it may seem, it is often you who must navigate the aftermath, who must find a way to heal. It is easy to internalize the pain, to believe that somehow you could have done something different to avoid it. But this line of thinking only serves to deepen the wound, to keep you trapped in a cycle of guilt and self-blame. The reality is, you are not responsible for the actions of others. You are not responsible for the circumstances that were beyond your control. And yet, it is you who must choose how to move forward. Forgiving yourself is not about excusing what happened or pretending it didn't affect you. It is about releasing the grip that these wounds have on your heart and allowing yourself the grace to heal. In the process of self-forgiveness, you may find that anger and hurt rise to the surface. These emotions are natural and they deserve to be acknowledged. It is okay to feel angry, to feel hurt, to feel betrayed. These feelings do not make you weak or unworthy. They make you human. But it is important to recognize that holding on to these emotions will only continue to wound you. They will keep you tied to the past, to the pain that you so desperately want to move beyond. Forgiving yourself means letting go of the need to carry these emotions with you. It means allowing yourself to feel them fully and then gently releasing them, knowing that they no longer serve you. As you journey through this process, you may encounter resistance from within. The mind has a way of clinging to pain, of replaying the moments of hurt over and over again, as if somehow this will provide answers or closure. But the truth is, no amount of revisiting the past will change what happened. The only way forward is through acceptance, accepting that the past cannot be changed, that the wounds were not your fault, and that you deserve to be free from the burden of carrying them. Self-forgiveness is not a single act. It is a continuous practice. It requires patience, compassion, and a deep commitment to your own well-being. You may have to forgive yourself again and again, as memories resurface, as new layers of pain are uncovered. But with each act of forgiveness, you strengthen your resolve, you reaffirm your worth, and you take one step closer to healing. You are not defined by the wounds you carry. They are a part of your story, but they are not the entirety of it. You are defined by how you choose to respond to these wounds by the strength you show in the face of adversity, by the love and kindness you continue to offer, even when the world has not been kind to you. Forgiving yourself is an act of reclaiming your power, of saying that you will not let the actions of others dictate your sense of self. It is about recognizing that you are worthy of love and happiness, not in spite of your wounds, but because of the courage it takes to heal from them. In forgiving yourself, 
you open the door to a future unburdened by the pain of the past. You give yourself permission to be happy, to be whole, to be free. And while the process may be long and difficult, it is also profoundly liberating. It is the path to peace, to self-acceptance, to a life lived fully and authentically. You are not responsible for the wounds you didn't create, but you are responsible for your healing. And in choosing to forgive yourself, you choose to honor your own worth, your own strength, your own capacity for love. Forgive yourself for the wounds you didn't create, not because they don't matter, but because you do. You matter more than the pain, more than the hurt, more than the past. You deserve to be free from the weight of what was done to you. You deserve to live a life filled with joy, with love, with the peace that comes from knowing that you have done the best you could in the face of unimaginable pain. And as you forgive yourself, remember that this is not a sign of weakness, but of incredible strength. It is an affirmation of your worth, a declaration that you are more than the sum of your wounds. You are a person deserving of love, of compassion, of forgiveness, especially from yourself. And as you continue on this journey, know that you are not alone. There are others who have walked this path, who have found their way to healing, who have learned to forgive themselves for the wounds they didn't create. Their stories are a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, to the power of self-forgiveness, to the possibility of healing. And if they can find their way to peace, so can you. It may take time, it may take effort, but it is possible. And when you finally arrive at that place of forgiveness, you will find that the wounds no longer hold the power they once did. They will still be there, but they will be a part of your past, not your present, not your future. You are not the person who was hurt. You are the person who is healing. And that is a powerful, beautiful thing. So forgive yourself, and in doing so, set yourself free. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you're still with me, please leave a comment on what you learned, or what you would like to add. I would appreciate it. As always, wishing you a beautiful day.